Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Vortex. On the last episode, we took on 20 more trainers, and we ended up in Route 48. I still don't know where it is. I probably should have looked it up, but whatever. You know, we're just going to go ahead and take on some more. Oh, that's not where I... Please take me to side quest. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we're here in Route 48 about to take on Bugcatcher Lance. Lance. Looks like he started out as Bud bug catcher and made his way on to the champion even though he's kind of a dragon trainer i guess he he quit bug types after a while and decided i want to become a uh, a dragon type trainer so as you can see our new team is a beedrill beedrill mega behem victor bill vigoroth vigoroth and vileplume and first off we have oh we're facing some bug well he's a bug catcher so um huh Whatever, we're just going to go ahead straight into this. I don't really know what to really take this on with. I could use someone with flying to... Oh, no. You know what? Poison jab? Just fine. Poisoned it. Did, did like 300 damage for no reason that second time, but whatever. You you could have at least poisoned the metallic one, right? Come on. All right. Beedro Mega is a little... I like Beedro Mega. He, uh... Got some moves. Alright, well, we're gonna go for poison jab. Poison jab, please. Poison. Okay, there's the poison, but that's not bad timing. Okay. And scissor is next. That's not really gonna do much. We're gonna go for drill run because that should be super effective, sort of, on you. I guess ground doesn't do much against bug. But ground should have done. It's been super effective against your steel self. Which I believe you are still, and I believe that move is ground, right? I think so. Oh. Okay. So, one trainer down. And let's head on to the next one. Hiker Ben. Alright. You know what? I am pretty sure we passed. What's her face? Claire, right? It's Claire? I don't remember her name. The dragon type gym leader in Johto. Pretty sure we passed her. Because I'm pretty sure this route is the route heading back to New Bark Town. Right? I, I really can't remember. But, oh, this guy doesn't really have that many Pokemon. I'm going to go for Drill Run and see if it is, in fact, a ground type move. And we're facing a Duck Tree. I'm going to go ahead and use that. See how much that does. 133, not much. Okay, well, Victor Bill. I think you know the drill. Run. And, yep, there we go. Alright, that's two down. And now, Picnicker Liz. <gasps> I think, yeah, this is definitely this. Cause I'm pretty sure Liz gives you her number in the game. I'm pretty sure. Like, this has to be it. Honestly. Picnicker Liz. Is it Liz? Or is it some other Picnicker that gives you her number? I can't I can't put my finger on it. I wow. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's Liz. She gives you her number. I don't know why I remember that it's specifically Liz, but I'm pretty sure she gives you her number in the games. Uh, this is not the B draw I wanted to use, but it's whatever. We're gonna go ahead and headbutt it. And oh yeah, we can we can live that. And damn. There we go. That is three down. 17 more to go. For today. Just for today. Don't worry. Ooh. Water types. Poison jab. Well, I cool fish. You're kind of... You're a poison type too, so it doesn't really matter to you. We're going to try a headbutt. And that's 117. Uh, oh, yeah. No, we got it. We got it. Oh, we live too. Nice. Now, artillery. Or artillery. No, artillery. You know, like the heavy artillery. Yeah. Artillery. Okay, apparently we couldn't attack, but we still poisoned it somehow. Don't know how that works, but sure. We're going to go ahead and keep poison jabbing it. Okay. There we go. And bam. Even if I didn't hit, I think... No, the poison wouldn't have taken it out. I needed to do more. All right. And poison jab. 200. And I leave it with 200. That's fine. And now we can go for a psychic. 150. 225. Nice. Wasn't expecting wasn't expecting Psychic to do that much. 
But I guess, you know, you do have stabs, so that's fine. 450, and that is another trainer down. That's four down, 16 more to go. All right. Now, oh, no, you don't, mm, skier, skier. Are we, I think we're on our way there now. Jeez, man, I'm so lost. I'm trying to, I'm trying to envision this map in my head. And skiers are most definitely inside that mountain thing just before uh, Blackthorn City. For sure. Like, that's, I'm pretty sure that's like where you first see Smoochum and Jinx um, in second gen. Oh, come on. You, she missed. Oh, you couldn't get that in? Ah. Uh, whatever, man. Boys, come on. Oh, you got to be asleep. Are you serious? It's a, it's just a little lovely kiss. What do you need to worry about? Oh, my God. You needed to not do that. All right. Synchronoise hurt myself in confusion because you used confusion, but it's okay. You're going to die of poison. Awesome. Cool. Shadow Jinx. Synchronoise. Come on. Nope, hurt myself in confusion because I'm awesome like that. All right, well, we're going to go for Solar Beam because that does a lot of... Guess not. Oh, okay, we landed one. That's nice. If we can land a Brick Break, that'd be great. 125, awesome. That is five down. <sighs> that was stupid. All right, so we're definitely facing some ice type Pokemon now. So, oh my God, are we fa No, you know what? I think we're facing Price Pierce now. Do, like we're in, we're facing his little gym trainer people. I think so. I'm pretty sure we are. Okay, Pile of Swine. Taken out by the poison jabs, and since you're a ground ice type, I'm gonna go ahead and use Drill Run. Which might just be normally effective because I think it's not really... Oh, actually, no. It might be super... I uh, no. No. I think it's normal effective. Right? Yeah, normal. But it's fine because it's poisoned and I can take it out like that. And then for this dugong... Dugong. And go ahead and poison jab it. Jab, 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 jab. And... Behem can go ahead and finish the job with a nice sidekick 338 nice I like this and sidekick again it's not like the Vivalon sidekick where it does like 150 this one does this one does a lot more and that's another trainer taken out all right so now you have okay you're a camper Spencer and you have ground tap kind of Pokemon and Poison Jab isn't very effective, but we're going to use it anyway. Oh, you're not going to... Left them with four. Are you serious? Come on. All right. Well, Shiny... Oh, man. This brings me memories. The first ever Shiny that I caught was a Shiny Zubat. And these colors are just beautiful. Um, it was in, I believe, Fire Red. I don't, remember, I don't know if it's Fire Red or Leafy. And I have both, so it doesn't really matter. But um, one of those two, you know, third generation uh, remakes of red and blue, or I guess red and green, whatever you want to say. Um, and I walk into Mount Moon, you know, it's, I, I replayed through it, walk into Mount Moon, and I find a shiny Zubat. Like, I just see these sparkles go across, and I'm like, what the hell is that? I've never seen one of these before. The Zubat's a different color. I got to catch it. Caught it. And I found out later it's shine. Oh my god! Why am I using psychic? Why am I using you? Find out later that it's a, it's a shiny, and I'm like, whoa! Got to transfer it around to my other games. I have no idea where it is now. I'm pretty sure I accidentally accidentally deleted the save file with it because I I don't really look to see which uh, what Pokemon or what. I kind of just see like, uh, is this po is this Pokemon look important? Yeah, I'll take it. So yeah, I probably. Got rid of my shiny. I'm pretty sure I ended up. I got it all the way to Golbat. I'm not Golbat. Crobat. And it was definitely a Golbat, but I don't know if I made it all the way to Crobat. But yeah, I also had a shiny Parasect from Fire Red. 
I was a little surprised. I don't remember catching that one. And another trainer down. And more water slash ice types. And yeah, I'm very lost on where we are. But yeah, that was my first shiny. And I feel like ever since then, I've really wanted to collect them because they're cool. Having shinies, they're so rare. And it's like, I want to, like, my original goal in Pokemon is to complete the Pokedex. Like, get all the Pokemon. And not just, like, complete it so that the Pokedex says that you've caught it, but actually have each and every Pokemon in my PC box. I've done that successfully with one game, and that is Heart Gold. <laughs> and if you see the time that I spent on a Heart Gold, it is like, I think it's. I think it's at 600 right now. Um, it's somewhere between 400 and 600 hours spent on that game. Just that cartridge alone. Some, some like 500 hours. That's a lot. I haven't translated that into days, but that's a lot. Like a lot. That's almost, let's see, 20 days worth of playing. Just, right, 20? Because 10 would be 240, and then 20 is 480. Uh, yeah. Basically, tw like 21 days of just playing. Like, no, it, would, it would be 21 days nonstop. Not like some, uh, oh, I probably should put a little dash. I don't remember if I put a dash for that one or not. But I'm going to put one again anyway. Um, but yeah, just 21 straight days of playing Heart Gold. No sleep, no eat, or anything. Just imagine that. That's how long I spent on just that one cartridge. So that's a lot. And that's the one I actually got to complete the uh, Pokedex on my way. And then my brother took some Pokemon from there, and then I took some Pokemon from there to trade it to uh, black and white and stuff like that. And so it's no longer complete. But it's still, like, you can still see it in the Pokedex. I've also completed, like, the po like just the Pokedex. Not necessarily have every Pokemon in the box with Pokemon X. But, you know, I don't feel like actually doing getting all the uh, Pokemon in the box. Because then that's just breeding each one, kind of. And that's, you know, that's too easy. So, I decided to come up with the stupidly crazy idea of... Hey, why don't I try to do a shiny Pokedex? Because I've already completed the normal Pokedex. Twice. So, yeah. I decided to do that whole shiny Dex thing. I think I told you guys about this last episode. Where uh, I have three shiny Bulbasaurs, three shiny Charmanders, and a shiny... Uh, shiny, what's his face? Um, Squirtle. Why? I don't know why I can remember Squirtle. But yeah, I have a shiny Squirtle. Can't get the second one for some reason. And uh, when something like that happens, I just get bored of it and just put it down. I don't feel like... Like, I haven't tried breeding in a few days because it just it gets boring after a while to do keep doing that. And that's going to do nothing because you're a flying type. Don't know why I did that. Whatever. So yeah, I that will probably take me several years and of course with the several years that it's going to take me new pokemon will really will be released as they are being now with pokemon sun and moon i am excited for pokemon sun and moon because pokemon sun and moon means more pokemon and another pokemon game to play in another region and it's also a step closer to what i really really hope for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. Pokemon and Diamond, Pokemon and Diamond, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl were the first games that I played. Well, not like first games that I played. First Pokemon games that I played. First games I played were like Mario Party on the GameCube and stuff like that, or not e not even that, which is Mario on the SNES. Or yeah. But yeah, um, I really want Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. Maybe even a Platinum remake. Something. A Gen 4 remake. Not like a remake in Gen 4, but a remake of 
Gen 4 would be the best. And I would really love it if Nintendo did that. Because I... Oh, Mega Empoleon? Can you imagine that? Mega Infernape? Mega... Mega Torterra. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm not too big of a fan of Torterra. Like, it, it's, it's pretty cool, but I don't think... What can you do with a Mega that will make it look cool? And, um... Yeah, Megas. Mega Starters, basically. That is going to be crazy. All right. Let's get it on with these guys. We are, I believe, 11 trainers in. I am not exactly sure. Poison Jab, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's the Deli Bird. A little Santa, Santa's bird, basically. Giving out presents and stuff. Helping Santa throughout the world. What if, what if that's how he does it? He has all these Pokemon that help him. And he's keeping them all to himself. Not letting anyone know that Pokemon are real. And now he's slowly releasing Pokemon Go to let us know that there are Pokemon out there in the world. And we can get them. But only virtually for now. The real Pokemon aren't coming yet. But they will be. <laughs> can you imagine real Pokemon? Like, not, not Pokemon Go augmented rea virtual reality kind of thing. But like, actual physical Pokemon that oh okay now we're on the dragon types that my friends would be like beyond my dream come true like I dream to be a game programmer I dream to like play professional sports I'm, that's not gonna happen but that's, that, that's a dream that's why it's a dream it's not gonna happen but it's a dream and I, that, I more than dream seeing like a real life Pokemon. Like, how crazy would that be? How crazy would it be to not only be able to see creatures from a game that you love, but to interact with them? Like, that'd be, you know what? Point, point said, I think. I think just just by all that, we're fine. You you understand. We're just gonna take out these like these uh these dragons and continue on. So I think now, I think now we're in uh, I think now we're taking on Claire, and her, and her crew. We should be in we this like this should be Blackthorn City itself, right now. But I'm not. I'm pretty sure, because the cave before. It's just ice types, which we just fought. And now we're on dragon types. So this is Blackthorn City. And after this, we head back to... Um, back to, what's it called? New Barktown. And then from there, we go on to Route 27 and 28. And take on the Elite Four. Or well, the Indigo League, which we already took on a while back. And we don't need to take on again... So we're just going to take on some random trainers that are in the area and then pretend like we're about to battle the uh, thing. All right. Psychic. Psychic. Awesome. That's another trainer down. We are at, by my count, we are at 14. I'm, oh, geez, you have, you have some Pokemon here with you. Um, by my account, we're at 14. I have no idea if we're actually at 14. But I'm going to go ahead and stick with the fact that we're at 14. And Poison Jab, this Charizard, before he kills me. Come on, double edge. Oh, nice. Miss with the Fire Blast. That would have destroyed me. Oh, jeez. You're not going to... Oh, you got Poison... I don't know. What is it that Shadow Pokemon do? I don't know. Is it like they can't fall asleep? Can't get paralyzed or something? Why do you get poisoned? I have no idea, but whatever. I don't really understand much about the uh, the shadow type. I know metallic takes less damage, dark does more damage, mystic gives you a chance to scare, and shiny gives you more HP, but I don't know much about, whoa! Fire Blast, nice. 
I don't know much about the uh, the shadow type. And I believe that is another trainer down. So we're at 15 by my count. I'm pretty sure I missed one or maybe added one accidentally. Not exactly sure. We'll figure it out later. Uh, poison jab. Like, I, I'm going to later go... Like, when, once we finish these next five, I'm going to go back to side quest, click on it again, and see which uh, number we are at, like, up here on the URL. For me, it says side quest 184, because that's the one that we started at. Um, it's, it doesn't update through every trainer you fight. It stays at the one that you started at for the session that you did. Um, and if I do 20, when I come back, I should be on... 204 instead if I'm less than that then we'll do another battle if I'm more than that then we're fine and we don't need to worry about it and this guy has one more Pokemon it's a Dark Kingdra which will probably take me out yep and we're gonna go ahead and use Psychic we haven't really gone down to using all of our Pokemon I don't think uh, what's this face I don't think Vileplume has really gotten that much action at all and we're f okay yep we're definitely going down now um heading back to newbark town i don't remember what route this is but we're gonna say 52 maybe i don't know maybe maybe route 49 i i have no idea ah <sighs> sun flora yep no poison jab sorry this rapid ash though don't know what to do about that. We're just going to keep Poison Jab. Oh, no. Come on. Well, you're off with 240. So as long as I do 200, I believe Poison Jab. Yeah. That Poison take you down. All right. Now, Octillery. Set the taken down by Poison Jabs. And done. Okay. Three more trainers, guys. Three more. And then you can go. All right. Ooh. Rock types. I think Victor Bill and victory victory bill and vile plume will have a lot of fun with this all right just gonna keep doing this steelix eh, not much of a problem but you know grass will do a little less to him still not much of a problem though whoa why'd your dig do do oh because i'm poison type your dig did quite a bit of damage and it looks like Vileplume's going to get some action. Ah, uh, you know what? No. Vileplume isn't going to get any action because I have Brick Break on Vigoroth. And that should take it out. Nice. Sorry, Vileplume. I know that was like your time to shine, but I don't think you were suited to take out that Steelix very quickly. So. Oh, sh Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh. The legendary dogs. Not even one at a time. It's all three of them. Oh, man. Oh, and they're over level 100. Oh, my God. You know what? BJ Omega, we're going to take out this Raikou right now. Drill run. Let's go. He has 480. Look at this. This is question, question, question. This is just a random encounter with all three legendaries. How lucky do you have to be to just randomly encounter three legendary Pokemon? And it not even like three random. Three legendary Pokemon that usually like that are from like the same lore basically this is a flareon that just got enhanced by ho -Oh. we just took down a jolteon that got enhanced by ho -Oh, and we're about to take down a vaporeon that was enhanced by ho -Oh. and psychic that's gonna leave you with 20, 30 oh man i can go ahead and use this bejo because it doesn't really matter go ahead and do that bam all right and now we can go for victor Beal. And Suicune could have Eyesight moves. It most likely will. But I'm going to go for a Solar Beam, which should do 450. Oh, jeez. That just... Whew. Wow. That was crazy. And you know what that also means? That means we're pretty close to the end here. Um, to taking to finishing off the uh, the Johto side quest. That's awesome because we're, we're encountering legendary Pokemon. We're on our way to wherever the Elite Four are. I'm going to use Silver One because that probably does 150. Yep, should have used that earlier. All right, that's cool. And we can go for X-Scissor since Poison Jab ain't going to do much. 
And oh, actually, I actually probably could have used Drill Run, but whatever. Poison Jab. Hope oh, I was hoping to get you poisoned, but you know, that's fine. That's fine and all. It's all fine and dandy. Psychic 225. Awesome. Sneeze. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Sneeze. Oh, hidden power. 75. Well, you're going to take out my BHM anyway. We're going to go for Victor Beal right here. And Razor Leaf did not do as much as I thought it would. Sad. And now Dawn Fan is coming out. We're going to go ahead and Solar Beam that just to get it out the way very quickly. And we're still alive somehow. And I'm also going to Solar Beam. I actually might just Sludge you. 81. Not enough. Sludge again. Not enough. Sludge, come on. All right. Left you with 36. That's fine. Vigoroth. We'll do this. We'll finish the job. We're going to go for a Brick Break. And I'm sorry, Tyranitar, but you're very weak to fighting, so goodbye. And again, sorry, Vileplume, but you're not doesn't seem like you're going to be really getting any any fighting time there. Um, and we're not going to move on to the next opponent because that is it for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and check to see if we actually did 20 trainers or not. Ooh, look at this. We're in Mount Silver right now. That is that is crazy. Taking on Ace Trainer Jenny. If I do this, we should, yep, 204. So we are fine. Let's go ahead. We're not even going to check out what Pokemon this trainer has. Check out the dashboard. And that'll be it for this episode, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.